there are also some rules to follow if we calculate with numbers that have a limited amount of significant figures. If we multiply or we divide numbers, we would use the smallest amount of significant figures. For example, if I have 4 divided by 2.0, my answer would be 2. Why? Because the number with the lowest amount of significant figures was the 4. It had 1 significant figures. If I had 4.0 divided by 2.0, I would write down 2.0 because two significant figures, two significant figures, so my lowest amount was the two, so I write the answer with two. Now if you add and subtract, we actually do not look at the significant figures, but the decimals. For example, 1.3 plus 1.31 will give me 2. 6. I would not write the 1 at the end because I round to uh, 1 decimal as this one had only uh, 1 decimal. These rules do not apply for exact numbers. What is an exact number? An exact number is something that is counted or something that is a definition. 1 foot is 12 inches would be a definition. Or I have three donuts, if I counted them, one, two, three, the three would be a counted number. So for example, if we have three donuts, uh, each of which has a mass of 25 grams with two significant figures, according to the significant figure rules, if we would uh, take the significant figures of all numbers into account, it should be the lowest ones, so one, so I should write the answer one significant figure, However, the 3 in the case of 3 donuts times 25 uh, grams per donut, the 3 is counted so it doesn't count, and my lowest amount of sig figs is in here, which is 2, which gives me 75 gram as an answer. Significant figures to tell you which digit is the uncertain one, which is always the last one, but it will never tell you by how much it is uncertain. Now, if you go into the science program, then you will learn an additional method of calculating how much you could be off. So not only will you know where you could be off, but also by how much. Now here the 75, that doesn't tell me if it was 76, or if it could have been 77, or 78, or 72, 71, I don't know. I just know it's the 5 here and the 5 here that are uncertain. If we would use these uncertainty rules, we would also know plus minus how much. But that's something uh, to worry about if you get to the science problem.